Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Preset challenge two. Mars transport system. Your preset team has been asked to design and build a transport system to transport different sizes of ball-shaped or containers from a mining area on Mars to a rocket launching site. Using a KNX kit build a transport system, the system must be able to carry a cargo round Mars mountains to reach the launch site. We're making a Mars transport system. Even Giuliano, they're working on the, the construction. You have to get it round the track and it has to go past these mountains, so you have to kind of build it out and in. It's all about um, how they structure it. They've got obstacles to go around as well, so they have to shape it round as if it was a mountain. They were taking the, the transporter round. And the, what they are sorting is the different sizes of rocks yes! and different shapes, different weights as well. So they've got to look at the, the dynamics of that. We've been building a structure uh, that can deliver a large ball and a small ball. Around the track and it has to go around the mountain, so like this mountain would be here, so it has to go around it. We're trying to make something that can come down, that can turn, so it can come down. But when it comes to this, it needs to be able to turn around it. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over three challenges and what they're going to do is try and actually transport um, Equipment and uh, equipment, drilling equipment to Mars, and go and drill in Mars and, and transport the ores back to Earth. That's what we're trying to do. But doing, in doing that, they have to do a lot of um, of engineering and try and construct and build stuff and do a lot of uh, of uh, group management, uh, project management. Um, what they need to do, working together in a team. We've been messing up at times, but we've been bringing it back. We decided to change it up and realise we have forgot the turns. So we changed it and made the turns and put bits around the outside so it doesn't fall off. We're working as a team and we can, when we work as a team we can actually build good things that are sturdy like this. It looks kind of icy because the colours we're using in it and it's going to be sloppy so it, the balls can roll down it. So you're not just thinking about the engineering, you're thinking about the appearance and the whole yeah. design. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you get a lot of points. Uh -huh, you get more points. They have to produce a design folio and they've done that last week and this week as well. And we've got judges coming around and marking them on the design element, their teamwork element, how the structure actually works. We'll be testing it at the end of the day to see if the, the ores do go in to their boxes. Our group has been getting on quite well, but we've been having a little bit of like, bother trying to get the track on the way, kind of. We've learned that, um, first of all, teamwork is most of what we're trying to do. Last time it was a bit long but then we had to take away most of the turns to make it more shorter. Trying to get them interested in engineering as, as young as, as we can get them. That's why EF is involved with this. So the old point is before we used to do just secondary schools and universities but now we're going back to the primary schools so it starts it's just about trying to catch them early that's what we're doing so we're catching them as early as we can and, and, and try to instill the engineering, this, uh, engineering um, career interest in, in, in them. It's been fun, I've enjoyed it quite much. I think, do you enjoy your life? I think everybody's enjoyed it. It's more like pro problem solving, and I like problem solving. 